All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert the CSV file into the agent Dialogflow agent zip file. Remember that the CSV file has to be in the correct four column format and make sure that you watch the CSV format video to ensure that your file is actually in the format that the app expects. So once you have logged into the app at app.botflow.com, you can go to the CSV to zip menu and select create dialog flow agent. And here first choose the language. In this case, we are going to choose English because that's the language of the small talk agent. And the next thing you have to do is click on this uh, browse button and upload the CSV file that you just created. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, so I have uploaded the CSV file. Now click on this upload file button. And notice that you see this message, your input file is okay and you have this green check mark over here. You will only be able to see this message if the CSV file is in the format that is expected. If you make an error, it will show you a different message and it will not allow you to do the conversion. And in fact, you will not even be able to see this convert button in that case. The other thing that I want you to notice is that if you are on the free plan, you are going to see this message which indicates that you can only convert 10 rows at a time using the free plan and you can always upgrade if you want to convert the entire CSV file with just one click. Now, when you do upgrade and you become a paid user, you will not see this message. And also, if you click on the convert button, you will be able to convert your entire file in one go. The other thing that you have to notice is that it will also give you a preview of what exactly you uploaded. So now you click on this convert button and in a few seconds you will see this uh, pop-up. Now how long it takes for this pop-up depends on how big your CSV file is. The larger the file, the longer it will take and uh, usually it will take about 20 to 25 seconds. If it takes more than that, there's probably something wrong uh, in my code or maybe in the file. So here's what you see. You, you can see that it allows you to save this file, it will provide you this file called agent.zip. So you can save this agent.zip to your local file system. And then from there, you will be able to go to the next step. 